Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you a terminal emulator. Uh, it's called uh, Sakura. So I think I made a video about it uh, some time ago with the DWL, but uh, I haven't uh, go, got in depth into the terminal. So uh, I'm going to show you how to build it from source and uh, show you around the configuration and uh, how everything is configured so let's get started so let's open the uh, terminal so, uh, let's do a new fetch first uh, this is a t2 by the way so so let's open firefox Okay, I have the screen key on, so you can see what I'm typing. So let's do, okay, not now. Terminal, okay, it's terminal. Okay, just type Sakura terminal, and it's going to show you the GitHub page. And go to the first link. It does use a GTK and VTA at the same time, so uh, we just clone the repo and, uh, and just hit clone, and clone and paste the link. Okay, there is some instructions on how to, to do this, so you can follow along with those. So just see Sephora and list the content. As you can see, we have to do CMake and dot. And it's going to do its thing. And now we need to run make. Okay, uh, and uh, to install it, just on sudo make install. All right, and it's installed and it's in slash user. Yeah, okay, so let's close SD and then it's open Sakura. As you can see, this is the uh, Sakura, and let's, and let's see how. We... Yeah. Okay. So, to you can configure it back. Uh, just right click, and you get this uh, menu over here, and options. Uh, you have a lot of options. Set urgent bell. Set audible. Okay. Let's remove those. So I don't like sounds. Okay, and uh, select, uh, you can configure the font, of course. Change whatever font that you have installed. Okay, let's use, uh, let's use pro, not font. And let's use regular, and maybe bump the size a little bit. Okay, select, and as you can see, it's applied right away. So let's go to options again, uh, select colors, and uh, I want uh, foreground, which is I want white foreground, and background is uh, black. So let's change the cursor to blue. All right, and uh, Opacity level, if you have a, a compositor running, you can uh, just uh, choose uh, the opacity that you, are, you want. Use bright colors, I like this one. So, uh, here is some other colors you can use. Uh, Solarize, go box, node, extra and, uh, colors, and uh, other stuff. 
I'm just going to keep it at Tangle. So, and uh, of course you have a custom color sets. Of course, I'm going to show you how to add more colors to the to Sakura. So, just select, and as you can see, the color is blue. All right. Okay, we can just keep right clicking and uh, do all of that stuff. So, and let's change the cursor to underline. So, we have an underline, and uh, it does have a uh, tabs, so we can have those as well. So, show tabs. I don't want tabs in the terminal. So, okay. Set the blinking cursor, let's set that. Okay. I want to automatically copy the text to the clipboard. Okay, now enough of right clicking. So let's, oh, let me show you the other way you can configure uh, Sakura, which is just opening the configure file, which is Sakura and Sakura.conf. Okay. And you open it and uh, of course you have color sets and you can add more color sets uh, as you wish and uh, you can change between those color sets with just uh, the function keys f1 f2 and you can add more f whatever color sets you feel like so that's a uh, so and uh, the bold is bright and set it to false because I haven't saved, uh, I mean, I haven't closed the Sakura, so it's not saving the my config that I made with the right click. So if I close uh, Sakura, it's going to save uh, the settings and uh, automatically output the settings to this uh, file. Okay, so. You can enable scroll bar if you want to uh, show tabs and all that stuff. So you got a lot of settings you can modify. So and uh, okay to go to the next tab, uh, delete tab, add tab, or control uh, T, and of course copy and uh, paste. That's the uh, normal stuff. Okay, you can change, of course, the icons and to go for screen, you just F11, like uh, any other thing like uh, Firefox, Chrome, whatever. Okay, it's just simple stuff and uh, you can, uh, of course, you, if you are in a desktop, you can configure the columns and the rows. Uh, and uh, this is a window manager, so uh, you just take the whole space available. So, so I'm going to quit this file and close Sakura. So then close it again. And now let's open it and see if uh, yeah, uh, the settings are saved. So you can see my prompt still is, uh, still is working. So let's open the config again and see if we have those settings okay let's check something that is uh, okay we have uh, uh, let's see what did we set i did set the cursor to the second one which is underline um, and tabs are disabled tabs copy selection it's true so i set it to true so and uh, what is the font? Okay. And what is the font? Yeah, what is the font? Font is size, okay. Okay, and the font, I set the font to uh, pro, font, pro font. And then uh, note font 14, so that's a. Uh, the one I set and the color scheme is just uh, one so I have 
one of the colors came so as you can say I just you can use uh, you can add more color schemes so you can choose whichever uh, one you you like so and that's uh, that's it for this uh, video I mean it's not uh, just a thermal emulator you can use uh, of course uh, I forgot to mention this uh, Actually, this uh, terminal works on both Xorg and uh, Wayland, so you can use this with the uh, uh, Wayland uh, compositors or Wayland uh, window managers and uh, X window managers. So it's uh, really uh, great, so I don't have to use uh, uh, Alacrity uh, for uh, any way, uh, Wayland. Uh, window manager or anything like that I can use this Sakura which is really great and it's faster than Alacrity so and that's it and you can give it a try and see how you you like this thermal emulator so okay and this is it for this video and see you in the next one